Hi, Joe Cluter, back at the race shop. Are you kidding me? Another story? I've got thousands of them. Well, I think a lot of you know the car behind me, the 19, its chassis EMS 143 606, was owned by Ray Abraham and driven by Elliot Sadler. 0607 documented cup car. But what you might not know is this is not the first cup car that I've owned. So tonight's story is about the first cup car I ever owned. So back in the mid 90s, traveling along, I get a phone call from a friend. He goes, oh, I got something for you. I found a cup car for sale. Now, if you're in New England and a cup car shows up, you're going to take a look at it, right? So Okay, where is it? So he tells me where it is, gives me the phone number of the guy. Joe, you got to go look at it. I said, well, who drove it? He goes, Jeff Fuller drove it. And I went, Jeff Fuller? I mean, if you're in New England and you hear the names Bobby Fuller, Ricky Fuller, and Jeff Fuller, they're iconic in racing in the Northeast. And I loved watching all three of them. So if it's Jeff, I'm definitely going to go take a look at this cup car. So, again, a little bit of history. Jeff won the 1992 Winston Modified Tour Championship, driving for Sheba Racing. Watched a lot of those wins. He actually had 31 wins on the Modified Tour. He was the most popular driver for three consecutive seasons, 92, 93, and 94. 1992, he drove the car I'm going to talk about, which was the number 88 at the time, in a Cup Series at Richmond. He started on the outside of Dale Earnhardt Sr., actually. He later attempted to qualify it at Atlanta, but had a mishap and didn't qualify. 1995, he finished 10th in the Bush Series, which is the Xfinity Series, and he earned Rookie of the Year. 1996, at Bristol, Jeff won his first career pole, won his first career race, and his wife Liv gave birth to their child. From 92 to 2010, 18 years, Jeff drove a variety of teams in both the Cup and Xfinity Series. In February of 2008, Jeff traveled to Afghanistan for a 10-day visit to six camps meeting soldiers, signing autographs, and seeing firsthand what the troops had to go through when they were deployed. So Jeff was the first person to drive this car. So I'm going to go take a look at it, right? I go out there and I go in and meet the guy in the building. And he goes, a lot of people looked at this car. I said, no one's bought it? Nope. How come? It's full of bees. So me, it's full of bees. It's full of bees nests, wasp nests. So, okay, I'm taking a look at it. So... This is the car, <laughs> when I went to look at it, covered with evergreen vines, and it was totally hidden away. Now, scrolling around, scrolling, looking at it, looking at it, looking, looking at it, and I saw all the bees flying around. So I left. But not before I made a deal to buy the car. <laughs> so I come back. My friend Pat Connors is in one of those pictures. And we start spraying with bomb, wasp, beast, bombs. In fact, at one point, I lifted up the trunk and I was spraying in the trunk. And Pat screamed at me because there was a nest this big hanging down from the trunk lid. So we let that sit for a while, the bees. Then we winched it in the woods and we winched it onto my trail. And I got it home. I don't know what to do with it, but I own a cup car. So I put it on saw horses in the back of the garage, and that's where it sat for a while until my friend George DiStefano decided to buy it. He's the one that also bought my 61 Richie Evans car that's in the Hall of Fame. So George buys it. In fact, I, after 29 years or whatever, I just caught up with him. These are the pictures he took of when he owned it. So that's what it looked like. Uh, and again, it says the 08 now because it was the 88 at Richmond. 
And then when they went to Atlanta, they changed it to the 08. So, yeah, that was my first cup car. And as far as I know today, that car is sitting with Carl Bugsy Stevens' shop. Last I heard, that's where it was sitting out front. So, that's my story for tonight. Till next time, follow your dreams, and God bless America.